Hello, I'm Jay, owner of Volunteer Audio in Oliver Springs, Tennessee, making a video to show you the latest in motorsports audio, or specifically Harley-Davidson audio, from Kenwood Exelon Motorsports. This is the P-HD3FR. This is the two-amp, four-speaker system for Harley-Davidson. It includes the six by nines with the cutting kit. So watch our videos. I show you more about it, what to expect, and the crazy low price point on this awesome new system. This video is brought to you by VolunteerAudio.com, your number one source for all things Harley-Davidson audio, from individual radios, speakers, and amps, to complete plug-and-play amp and speaker systems, we've got you covered. And once you've ordered your package from Volunteer Audio, it includes lifetime tech support, and we have the very best step-by-step -step installation video, so you can install it yourself and save money. So they make several kits for several different motorcycles. You can get as simple as a upper fairing speaker and a single amp package that's completely plug and play to a kit like you see here. This is the uh, P-HD3FR. FR stands for front and rear. This is gonna be the one with the six by nines in the lids. They also make a P-HD4UT, which stands for upper and tour pack for doing uppers and tour packs on like an ultra limited. In each one of these kits, you're gonna get one amplifier for every two speakers. So if you're doing a front and rear, like you see here, we're actually gonna get a second amplifier. Now it is gonna come with specific mounting brackets to put that amplifier in both a street glide, ultra, or electro glide, as well as a road glide specific bracket to go in the fairing. Now this is a very low cost option that is meant to be quite a bit better than the factory system. The number one reason people would replace their audio on their Harley is, you can't hear it going down the road. With this, these amplifiers and these speakers, we should be able to get good, clear sound louder than the engine and the wind at highway speeds. Now, Kenwood's new to the motorcycle market, and they teamed up with a very, very popular company called Hogtunes, and this is their system they've worked and built together. Now, Volunteer Audio in the past, we've not carried Hogtunes because there's several limitations that I didn't like about it. One of which was their amplifiers were just preset. They just had like an AB switch. There was no sensitivity or input adjustment, meaning if we changed radios to like the new Soundstream radio or, or other options that were out, we have no way to adjust and make it sound right. We also don't know what flash is in that factory radio and having an input sensitivity allows us to adjust that amp for whatever flash is currently in it. Now Kenwood, even though they teamed up with Hogtunes, they build amplifiers to their own specifications. So these are gonna be a better built amplifier with that adjustment that was missing off the Hogtunes amps. So we do have input adjustment, so we can adjust how loud this amplifier is gonna be based off which stereo we're using or what flash we're using. Now, because they, they have teamed up with Hogtunes, Hogtunes has a built-in filter in their amplifiers that if you do not flash the stock radio, it's supposed to overcome some of the poor EQ qualities in that stock stereo. So according to the directions, according to all the literature we've been told, you do not have to flash your stock radio to put in the new Kenwood Motorsport system. Now, what we're going to test at Volunteer Audio is we're going to try it. I'm, I, you know, I don't think that it's going to be beneficial for us to do it without flashing the radio. Flashing the radio fixes a lot of things that we're really happy about. When we flash it, we make the EQ the same, riding down the road as sitting still. Now, when you read the directions, it actually tells you that the sound is different while going down the road than sitting still because the factory radio changes. We can fix that by flashing the radio. At Volunteer Audio, we always take some extra steps to make your life much easier when you do your install. One of which is we're gonna completely preset the gains on the amplifiers before they ship. Now, the only way I can make sure I did that right is to tell you a specific flash to make sure it's in your radio. If you have flashed it to that flash, then I know that our settings will be correct. If I just send out an amplifier set to a specific setting, and we don't know which of the 20 some odd flashes could have been done to your bike, the end result's not gonna be consistent. We want you to consistently have a great experience. So we'll test it without flashing. We're gonna test it with flashing. 
and we're going to see what it sounds like. I could be wrong. I've been proven wrong before, but hundreds and hundreds of bikes in. Uh, I mean, I'll probably do 300 bikes a year. Flashing always sounds better. We do it with many, many different amplifiers. We'll test it with these new Kenwood amplifiers, and we'll let you know. And if that be the case, Volunteer Audio rents the flash tools if you don't have access to it locally, as well as we will completely preset these amplifiers before they ship for easy install. But let's quickly go over everything that comes with it. Now, it's going to have a very simplistic plug-and-play harnessing. All they have you do is unplug the front speaker pods. This is going to plug in uh, to the speaker pods to power your new speakers. This is the output side of the amp. And this is going to plug to the factory input, or what used to go to the speaker pods, the send signal into the amplifier. From there, if you're going to run rear speakers, they simply have you Velcro the second amp next to it. We're going to take this harness here and plug it in. And all this does is take that same front signal and feed our rear amplifier. Now, the downside to this is you're not going to have any fader control. If you fade to the rear, it's not going to fade to the rear. They're using front channels only, but this is a low-cost system. This is meant to be much better than stock, but it's not nearly as costly as some of the other upper-end systems. So to keep costs down, they're going to go a very basic harness system. The harness systems on some of our other plug-and-play packages at Volunteer Audio are roughly $300 just for harnessing. We really like the way it works. We think it's really easy to install, and we gain front and rear independent fade. In most scenarios, you won't have that in this system. Also, Kenwood on this system is going to require for every two speakers you add to add another amp. And you can fit a maximum of three amplifiers in your street glide or road glide fairing with their brackets. Now, they do up to eight speaker systems and feed that eighth or that seventh and eighth speaker. They actually have a pass through that doesn't amplify, but radio power feeds that seventh and eighth speaker. I don't think at Volunteer Audio we're really going to push that system because I really don't think the last two speakers are really going to be heard over the other six amplified speakers. It's my opinion. We'll find out more as we go through it. I will tell you, I've looked at the design. I think it's very, very well thought out. I think it would be very easy to install from simple to plug in at the front speaker pods to simply plug in the second amplifier. They send you complete plug and play power and ground harnessing to run from the battery up to the amps. They give you front grills on a street glide. So if you have an electric glide, an ultra or a street glide, you're going to get new front grills. If you have a road glide, the grills are not included. So you will have to stick with your factory grills on your road glide. Now in the back, they have a very nice looking cut in kit for your 6x9s to go into your lids. This is a hog tunes kit. It does say that on it, but it is Kenwood branded to match the front grills and the speakers that are being used. I really like the design. I think it looks good. We'll show you how to install it in our step-by-step -step video that we'll launch a little later. In this video, we're just going to cover everything that you get, and then we'll later do a step-by-step -step install and let you hear exactly what it sounds like before and after. Um, you also get a very nice plug-and-play rear harnessing with the rear kit that's going to plug into the front amplifier output, run back under the seat, and tee out to your bags with grommets, and it also has a nice set of quick disconnects, so it's easily serviceable. It looks like this is well thought out. It comes with gaskets to make sure those lids stay watertight, as well as all the zip ties and zip tie mounts you're going to need to make your harnessing look very neat and very tidy. So of most plug-and-play kits we've seen on the market, I like the design. The, it's very simplistic in how it's put together, but I will tell you, you're going to get a lot of extra parts. So when you get a two-amp system, every amp comes with a street glide mounting plate and a road glide plate. So here are two different road glide mounts, two different street glide mounts. We're only going to use one. You also get duplicates of each harnessing, and it looks like the only thing we're going to use extra out of the second amp is the power and ground harness. So don't be confused as you read through your directions or watch our video and you do your install. You're not going to use all of that harnessing. But very well packaged, very good-looking speakers. They're weatherproof and designed to go on a Harley. Uh, and let's talk about power for a minute. We have a 160 by 2 amplifier that's supposed to do 80 watts RMS at 2 ohms. Now, Kenwood uses 2 ohm speakers in these systems. That's what's limiting us to 1 amp, 1 2 channel amp per 2 speakers. If they were 4 ohm, we could stack them and maybe we could do 8 speakers off 2 amps. But in this case, they wanted all the power to the amp to go to those 2 speakers. So 80 watts RMS to each speaker, that's a total of... 320 RMS watts in this total system, or 640 peak watts. Uh, that is going to be uh, enough. Hey, we see 80 to 100 watts is about the range you want to be in to be louder than the engine and the wind as long as you have a good, efficient speaker. 
So my hopes are that it sounds great when we're done. We're going to find out. We're going to let you see it. I'm a little uh, worried due to cost. This is a very inexpensive kit. And normally when things are inexpensive, we don't expect huge results at the end. But I'm going in with you with an open mind, knowing they've picked a quality company to team up with. I know Kenwood in the past has built very good components. And looking at all the things they've laid out, we're hoping for a very good end result. Now I'll tell you, the factory stereo and the Harley we're fixing to do was terrible. The speakers are terrible. The radio's terrible. We've done, we've already rode ahead of time. We've listened to it with a GoPro. We've done a walk away with it. And when we're done, we're going to do all this again with the new system to let you hear exactly what that difference is. So excited to get a bike in here and get all this in. We're going to listen to it. We'll let you hear it. And we'll let you decide if this is worth what Kenwood's uh, offering. Now, again, uh, two-year warranty. I didn't mention that. You get a full two-year warranty on the amps and the speakers and everything you need to put it in at a pretty low cost. At the time of this video, this four-speaker system, complete plug-and-play, is $1,529. Most other kits are going to be well in the $2,000 plus range, so definitely seems like a really good value for all the components that are included. All right, so we've showed you everything you're going to get in your kit when you order that P-HD3FR. You're going to get all the necessary parts, everything you need. I do want to back up and tell you, after doing our install, we found out we did not need to flash the factory radio. If we flashed it to anything other than the stock two or four speaker non-amp flash, these amps won't turn on. It just turned the input too low. With that being said, there's a little too much bass, in my opinion, without flashing the radio. So we want you to leave the bass at either flat or actually turn down in your radio to get more clarity at those high volumes. Now, we know this is a low-cost system. It's what it was designed for. It was meant to be better than Boom Audio. It was meant to be better than HD Audio by Rockford and much better than that stock non-amplified system. This is for the average guy who simply wants to hear his audio going down the road. If you want an over-the-top, awesome system that people hear you from blocks away, this may not be for you. Maybe you need to spend a little bit more money and you can call us and we'll go over those options with you and try to get exactly what you want. And maybe you have the desire for one of those huge systems, but you don't have the budget for it. A lot of my life, I found out I want that very expensive part, but I need to fall somewhere in the middle where my budget allows and still yet get something better than what I had. And I think that's exactly what Kenwood tried to do. With its two-year warranty on the speakers and the amps, you know it's going to continue to last. It's all weatherproof. It's so easy to install. And it does sound a whole lot better than stock. We did a system for Joe with this, and we did a full step-by-step -step video I want you to watch later and see how easy it was to install. We're also going to have writing footage at the end of this video so you'll hear what it sounded like. But taking it back to Joe at our local Harley dealer, we did compare it to several other systems, and we found that everything that the Harley dealer had to offer, this sounded better at a lower price point. So pretty blown away with what you get for the cost. But again, if you want that over-the-top, crazy loud system, that quality, quality, quality system, you may need to spend more money and get into a, a Hertz Stage 4 package or Precision Power Infinity, one of the other systems we offer at volunteeraudio.com. If you're wanting something that fits a lower budget, that is still a lot better than stock, this is for you. So.
got to see the riding footage we put together and I think you can tell it sounds a whole lot better than stock. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like it. If you like it, it's going to move us up in search results. It's going to help other people watch videos like this from Volunteer Audio. It helps us and we really appreciate you doing so. If you want to know the latest about Harley Audio, and we always try to give you accurate information on the latest as it comes out, you need to subscribe to Volunteer Audio's YouTube channel where we're going to show you it when it first comes out. We're going to show you how to install it. We're going to show you how to use it. And we're going to try to help make sure that you make the right decision when you make your purchase. All right, so if you have questions this video didn't answer, comment below and I'll be quick to answer them to the best of my ability. You can also call us at one 30 audio That's gonna get you with Rick, Scotty, or Samantha. They're very, very knowledgeable. They'll go over your genre of music you listen to, the budget you have, and help you put together that perfect system for your scenario and your bike. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, God bless.